for the first time in human history, for the first time in all of human history, almost all of mankind is politically awake. And these new and old major powers face still yet another novel reality, in some respects unprecedented. And it is that while the lethality, the lethality of their power is greater than ever, their capacity to impose control over the politically awakened masses of the world is at a historical low. I once put it rather pungently, and I was flattered that the British Foreign Secretary repeated this as follows. Namely, in earlier times, it was easier to control a million people, literally. It was easier to control a million people than physically to kill a million people. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. It is easier to kill than to control. And there is a reason for all of these things to have been thrust upon us at the very same time. That reason is to manipulate consciousness through the use of polarized energy by creating an atmosphere of tension, of distrust, of anger, and of fear. The Earth is reaching the end of a very long cycle. The frequency of the planet is rising, and so with it, the frequency of all upon this Earth. The harmonic frequency of the planet, known in scientific circles as the Schumann cavity resonance, rises periodically in the predictable steps outlined in the Fibonacci sequence of numbers. The last time this occurred was close to 13,000 years ago and it is now occurring again. The current rise in frequency began in 1986 of our calendar and this represents a very significant and extremely important time both for this planet and also for all life that lives upon it. Evolution is a real process, but it does not happen as it is portrayed in the Darwinian model. For species do not simply turn into other species as Darwin theorized. True evolution is the evolution of consciousness. Such evolution is only a gradual process while knowledge is being acquired during each cycle. But the evolutionary changes each cycle eventually produces come as the cavity resonance rises and time speeds up at the end of each cycle. In such times, evolution comes very quickly. We are currently living in just such a time. The Earth is a conscious living being with complete awareness of itself. It is evolving and the human race is evolving along with it. And it is not just localized to this Earth or to this solar system or even to this galaxy. It is universal because it is the energy all is made from. It is consciousness itself that is evolving. Consciousness is on the verge of creating an entirely new reality. And humankind is the vector, the gateway between the above and the below. Humankind is the mind of God itself, and the choice of what the outcome of these changes will be lies with each of us. It lies within me, and it lies within you. It is a question of energy, a game of free will, a matter of choice between love and fear.
Long ago there were certain forces that gained control of this earth, and they have worked very hard in order to never relinquish this control. These forces operate through the ruling bloodlines and monetary system, and they rule the world today via the use of their favourite method, the manipulation of energy through the unbridled and relentless propagation of fear. These ruling factions know all about the great cycles this planet is subject to. They know all about sacred geometry and energy fields. They know that this consciousness is about to evolve and they are attempting to control that evolution. They know that all of humanity is actually a single consciousness and they know that if they can create as much fear in the world as possible then that is the reality that will be created through this change. This is why the notion that such things like the end of the Mayan calendar signify doomsday are so heavily promoted by the media and Hollywood. The mass media and Hollywood are the tools used by the elite to influence and control the minds and the consciousness of the people. Hollywood weaves its spell by mixing truth with lies to create a distorted vision of reality and fearful visions of the future. Hollywood has always been used to do this, to influence the beliefs of the people. In fact, Hollywood has been used for this very same purpose for a very long time. Changes are indeed coming to this earth. There is no way to avoid these changes. They are inevitable. Indeed, they are on our very doorstep. But these changes are nothing to fear. They are to be welcomed as a new beginning. However violent and painful they may at first appear to be. Such violence and pain is not dissimilar to the pain experienced in childbirth for such is always the way new life appears. It is easy to promote a state of apprehension towards the coming changes. It is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown, especially if such changes may appear at first as violent upheavals. And Hollywood does its job very well. But it is important not to view things from a fearful perspective, because the way to deal with these changes is to remain centered in your heart. Those who are centered in heart, and who maintain a strong connection with the heart of this earth, will easily survive what is coming to experience a new life in a very new and very different world. The method used in the creation of this number sequence also holds important clues for humankind as to how these changes must be dealt with. For in the Fibonacci sequence, it is by combining the present with the past that the future presents itself. This is why it is so important for modern man to now embrace the old ways and to learn the knowledge of their ancestors. This information is well known in shamanic traditions from all cultures on all continents. For those who do not learn the old ways, the future will be strange and unpredictable. In this film, I have attempted to explain to you the real structure of this reality, the nature of energy, and of the light and sound that make up this entire universe, and every one and everything contained within it. I have attempted to show you that this understanding is supported both by ancient traditions and also by modern science.